Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. We have Match Phone Bud Range, Sierra Dirt Mate Pal, Reach Check Natty Scope, Natty. Hmm. Compliment Stella Extent Partner. Stella got her groove back? Hmm. I don't know what's going on with Sierra, Stelly, and Natty. I mean, Sierra... Uh... All right, well, let's look at other things. We've got Bud and Mate. Is that what they're going for? They are next to each other, which could mean... Yeah, Bud, Mate, and Powell are all really close to each other. And Partner? I feel like I have to try it anyway. These four being, like, your friend. No, not even, not even one away. Okay. I, th I thought it was a little too convenient that they were next to each other. Um, bud as in, like, a plant bud? Mate. Hmm. Scope and extent and range all seem similar. Reach, maybe? Let's try that. Yeah. Breadth. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. That didn't help too much. Compliment. So if you if something complements it, it it uh it matches it. I don't know. Complement, match, and partner. This might make sense. Like pairs of things, like things that go well together, they complement each other. Now let's see. I tried mate, pal, bud, and match, and that wasn't one away. But I could still include mate or pal or bud. I feel like of those, meat makes the most sense. So I am going to try that. Yes. Okay, other half. So I have to figure out what Nat Natty and Stella are referring to. Um, or I can just get the other category. <laughs> Still a bud and pal. Check phone. Dirt. What, what would pal mean other than, you know, a friend? Because I don't think it means friend because I don't see four words for friend here. Pal is a TV standard in Europe. <laughs> Broadcast TV format. Um, I don't see how that would be it. <laughs> Let's lap backwards. I don't think that's it. Mm, bud. Only thing with bud is I can think of plants, and I thought maybe dirt might go with plants, but I don't really think that's true. Sierra is—is is it a biome or like a plains type, or is it a mount mountains? I'm trying to remember. I, I know it's a company. <laughs> they make they made video games. Sierra like Space Quest and. King's Quest and such. Um, I don't think it's that, but what are we, what are we doing here? Isn't there like Sierra Nevada as well? I honestly, I can't connect any of these in any substantial way. Our, our purple is very purpling and our blue is not doing us any favors. I am wearing my blue shirt, so that, that ought to help. Plus two to blue. Hmm. Gotta think harder. I can't help but think that like, some of these are just um, uh, euphemisms for for marijuana. I know that bud is, but are there like are some of these other euphemisms for marijuana that I just don't know? I've got some mistakes to use up. So if I was going to use any of these as euphemisms for marijuana, I probably wouldn't use check phone or pal. So maybe probably not dirt either. So Sierra Stella and Natty. They're beers. Oh, okay. Oh, like Bud Bud Light, Budweiser. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a beer drinker, so I'm not surprised. Now, Stella, I I do recognize that now that they say I don't actually recognize these other beers. Um. Okay. Well, I was on the right track, but also very wrong. <laughs> but anyway, Dirt Check Phone and Pal. Still have no idea. Got to be a fill in the blank, right? Are they lists? Like Dirt list, like checklist phone list pal list I, I don't see how they're lists <laughs> i just was thinking about checklists and i was trying to fit the other ones to it check mark dirt dirt mark phone mark phone mark pal mark no hmm is it a phone blank the other way blank check blank dirt no cell phone cell pal <laughs> phone number check number dirt number i don't know i i it's i think it's some kind of fill in the blank but i can't figure it out so i'm just gonna submit Oh, pay. Okay. Paycheck. Yep. Pay dirt. Pay dirt. Pay dirt. I don't think I've ever heard that. PayPal. Okay. And payphone. Gotcha. 
Pay dirt, though. No clue. I'm going to look that up. All right, pay dirt. Ground containing ore in sufficient quantity to be profitably extracted, or informally, profit reward. The gig pays 300 bucks a week. Looks like I just hit pay dirt. Okay, some kind of mining term that made its way into the lexicon. All right, difficulty. I don't think they're going to think this is hard. There was the one red herring. that It was so obvious with the placement, but I went for it anyway. It was all my only mistake. But I, I think that they're going to mark this like a, I don't know, 2.6 maybe. I'm so bad at predicting this. It's a 3.2 today, according to Connections Companion. So, all right. My struggle is validated. 3.2 is, is usually a little bit of a struggle. All right. Well, how'd you do? Let's do the mini crossword for Thursday, August 15th. And congrats to the mini for turning 10, the 10 year anniversary. That's crazy. I just started recently, but uh, yeah, there's a huge archive to go through. Anyway, let's go. With six across, let me start by saying, hmm, not sure. Historical object, a relic, underwater plant that can grow over a foot a day. Kelp, maybe? Come on. Mis mischievous. Mischievous. Uh, I'm not sure. Section of a cutlery drawer. Forks. It's my opinion that... Hmm. Presidential candidate's event. Um, a rally? Lose one's footing. Trip. 90s girl group with the hit No Scrubs. TLC. What is... Uh, I thought it was TLC. Hold on, what's happening here? Let me start by saying... Oh no, what did I get wrong? It's my opinion that... What's this? Mis mischievous. Sly? It's my opinion that... Hmm. Okay. The, the cutlery had to be forks because we have this R and K from Relic and Kelp. It's not going to be spo spoon or knife, I don't think. Rally seems right. Lose one's footing. Trip? Is there another... Maybe there's another word besides trip. We start by saying... For... I'm thinking it might be themed on the 10th anniversary, but I can't see it. It's my opinion that... Could kelp be wrong? Uh, Rally was right. Trip. It's my opinion that. So another way of saying that. Um, I maybe maybe I. Something. Is this first? Let me start by saying. This is another way of saying. Let me start by saying. Oh yeah, I I, I keep reading these kinds of clues wrong. So first of all, there we go. You'd think by now I would understand how these clues work. It's a replacement for that quote. Not, not a fill in the blank after it. Okay. Um, so slip instead of trip. Gotcha. Darn, I couldn't think of that. All right. Well, congrats to the mini crossword for 10 years. That's crazy. <laughs> How'd you do? Let's do strands for August 15th. Today's theme is, is that some kind of joke? <laughs> um, okay, so com comedy? Com I thought I would see something with comedy. It needs any and E though. Um, hmm. Like, do we have like stand up? Or uh, knock knock? <laughs> is that some kind of joke? We have a J here. Like Joker? I think I'm just going to try it. Not Joker. Maybe it, maybe Joker gets extended. Uh, or Jester? It was Jester. Oh, interesting. That's cool that you could make Joker and Jester. Um, Kloof. A Fool. All right, a Jester, a Fool. These are names for like clowns, maybe? Yeah, here's Clown. So names for comedic entertainers? Still think we're doing com something. Oh, just comic. Okay. I don't know why I didn't see that earlier. G B N. Probably something ending in ing. Probably our spanogram. In fact, let's trace this outside here. Um, kidding. Uh, some kind of kidding. Your 
you are kidding. Wow. No apostrophe, huh? <laughs> Imagine if there was just a little apostrophe <laughs> right there. Like, what's that little mark on there? Is that a hair? Um, okay, two words left. Uh, prankster. Looks like it is. And buffoon. All right. Okay. Pretty straightforward today. The the your kidding was <laughs> was a little interesting that they put a contraction in there without a apostrophe. I guess we'll have to watch out for that now. All right. Well, how'd you do? Mm -hmm.